So hello everybody, if you watch my last video right till the end, which you should do all the time, you had a little teaser about that I might add something as well to the Dobro check topic. And here it is, a conversion tool which can convert Reaper projects to Dorp project any other way around. And I saw that already lots of people have been asking about that on the Reaper forums. So I'm really glad I can provide this feature for you. Nevertheless, if Kokos wants to do that themselves in Reaper, I'm all for it. This would be really great to see. But since I followed this project since its initiation two years ago, the project was developed openly on GitHub as well. And I needed something to test also the project with Bitwig. So I came up with this early implementation of converting projects to and from Reaper. And now I thought, why not publish it? And I fixed some issues with that in the last days and we have now the first final release. Nevertheless, there are still open holes and I would absolutely love to see contributions. What's missing we can see later, but first let's have a look at how you install it. So if you go to my homepage, there is now here the new release of the project converter. And if you go there, you see here at the bottom the download links and the video you watch right now will replace this placeholder video. So you can download the manual and you can also get the different installers. So it's platform independent. You can run it on Windows, Mac OS as well as Linux. So I downloaded here the Windows version and let's run the installer and simply next, next run all that nonsense and here we go finally it does install it's also easy on the other os's except mac os you know there is this security stuff so please check out the manual of project converter which you can also get from the home page i showed you and then if you have installed it we can run it so here it is, a simple user interface. On the left, you select the project you want to convert. And on the right, you say where you want to have the new created project file. And here you can select what you want to have as an input. Do you want to convert the DOR project or Reaper file? And here I did not forbid to select the same option so you can totally convert a Reaper to Reaper. So this might be interesting to see which data is actually preserved and what can be converted in the process. So for debugging, this might be pretty interesting to have that as well. But for the normal use case, you choose only one. Let's totally do this. If you watch the last video, I had a project which I already did tests to export from Bitwig as a DOR project and import it successfully into PreSonos Studio One, which worked really great. And let's try the same now here with the to Reaper conversion. I exported this song here to the desktop. So we have a DOR project file for it. And let's select that simply. So you click on select. We go to the desktop and select disappointment dot door project so we select door project and we want to convert it to reaper as well on the desktop and you simply say let's convert it so it's reading the project validating the file and then writes the output as well as all the included audio files so if you have larger project this process can take a little bit and then it's also done let's have a look at it so here it is and if you open the folder you see it contains all the audio files let's have a type here if all the audio files as well as the main project file which got created and if just out of curiosity if we have a look at that you see it contains all the usual stuff. Also the state of all the plugins is in there, MIDI information, and at the top also the metadata which got converted. And let's have a look at that in real now. So let's open it in Reaper and let's make Reaper a bit smaller so you can see everything and as you see, there's lots of stuff and this looks pretty similar as the project. And there are different things worth noting. So we successfully converted the audio files as well as the MIDI clips. And 
also there are some looped MIDI clips in the original version. These are loop clips and they get also now converted successfully. And deactivated tracks. So there are no deactivated tracks in Reaper. So you cannot simply say, I want to deactivate a track. So what I did instead is to lock the track, lock track controls. This gives us this dark look. So you can enable it again. And I took also all effects offline. So, okay, this one does not contain any effects or data. So instead of the deactivation, there is offline effects as well as this lock state. So let's also see the mixer, which looks here a little bit weird. So let's have it look like this. So here we also see some offline plugins. So this looks pretty nice and let's try the other way around. But before we do that, let's have a look in the manual. The manual is pretty short and I tried just to document what is possible. This might also miss some things, I'm not fully sure. Also clap devices, by the way, really translate nicely from Bitwig and Reaper because both support clap as well. And at the end, I noted some known issues currently. So the built-in devices of our project, so which is the EQ compressor limiter, are currently not supported. That's something on my to-do list as well. Then I could not yet test a EU plugin since Bitwig does not support them. But now with Presonus Studio One, they do a EU as well. So this is also something to look into. Also, I'm not sure if Studio One already supports video clips. So this would also be something to check out since Reaper supports video as well. And there are some more detailed things like panorama on send, some envelopes, MIDI parameter envelopes from Bitwig to Reaper. The other way around is already working. Then you can do crazy routings in Reaper, which is currently not looked into. And there are some other details, one area and Important maybe if you want to have continuous tempo changes, this is simply beyond my mind. <laughs> and if you have a change from 70 to 100, for example, this works fine. But if you have continuous changes, it's currently doing crazy stuff. So I'm absolutely welcoming contributions. So if you can code a little bit of Java and find some issues and also want to send some updates for that, I'm absolutely for it. And it's linked on the homepage as well to the GitHub repository. It's also here, so you can also take the source code and have a look. So, but now let's try the other way around. And the use case is like this for me. This is a band recording of mine. Let's have a look at that. So when we rehearse with my band, Arilyn, we do always record everything with Reaper because Reaper is really great for quick recording. It's running in a few seconds and you're ready to record. And this is really if you don't have much time in a rehearsal room and just want to be ready to record, this is a great software to have. Yeah, it's complicated. If I want to work on that, then in Bitwig for mixing, because this is the direction I use for that, especially if you did some overdubs, which are not the full track length. So you would have to create stems before that. And it's a hassle to get this into another door. And let's see how that comes out in Bitwig. So this is only audio. Video. And again, we have here the converter and now let's select the Reaper project. Where is it hidden? The backup file, where is the main file? Here it is, not this time. And here we select now it's a Reaper file and we want to go to door project also here on a desktop. And here we go. And this takes also a bit since it includes all the different WAV files into one file. And we are done. So let's close that down. So here is a resulting door project. Let's open Bitwig. And let's see if we can open this door project to the desktop. And here is a door project. Open it. Let's close this. So and this also is looking good. All of the audio files came over. Let's also have open the drums here. And we also see here the toms of the drums are also here. So also the hierarchy is working and this way does work 
as well. And for sure, this does not contain MIDI data, but this is also already implemented in the conversion process. So, and since you watched again till the end of this video, I also just got word of another company who will support the project. And this is something not so expected. And yeah, this is something to watch how this will evolve with the project. And tell me down what you think. Do you think this is useful, this tool? Tell me what you do without it. And until next time, make some funky music.